How's it going, everyone? It's Brian here and back in another re radio review video. And today I'm joined by. You know who I am. No, we don't. Yeah, you do. No, we don't. Yeah, you do. No, we don't. Wait, hold on. Actually, wait a minute. You told me to do something that you wanted me to do. One second. Let oh. me get prepared for it. Oh, no. <laughs> no. But actually, I need. Anyways, in the meantime, <laughs> no, oh my god, we're 24 13. Look at that, who the fuck are you? I'm just by looking at me. Anyway, you're Savage Gamer 24 13. Dare I say your name for you? No, I don't. <laughs> Oh my god, that was funny. Anyway, and today we're reviewing the Cobra CBWR200, which is actually my first one I just had six years ago. Nice. Yes. That was back in the CRS days. Oh, nice. Now I would. Now I literally joined as soon as the CR. The CRS voice was switched. So anyway, let's turn this thing on. And by the way, you might want to cover your ears because it might be loud. Is that? It's loud. Eh, I think, be, I think it should be fine. And here's the, what they feature. Um, um, this is what I usually get on my. I usually record on this all the time, but sometimes I use my recom, which is behind, right behind my um, computer, with with my DR120 and my three DR300. So anyway, um, there's this. Uh, we have a same. We have the same. I'm not sure if that's the same with WX. I don't know. Oh, crap. Anyway, what? I I was saying that I'm not sure the same mode was the same thing as WX. Well, honestly, I wish I had a beat. I wish I just had a beat like that so that I can determine that, but I don't. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this rail was rare when I first got this. I don't know if they're still making them. Probably not. I mean, I can. I, I, I can confirm it might be uncommon. I'm not sure. So anyway, we got the uh, memory, which what you basically do is uh, you use it for putting in the frequency codes for the uh, um, your NWR, and you got your alarm mode. Unfortunately, this thing does not have a uh, siren test. But it does go off for it works. There's actually one listing for the Cobra CW200. What do you mean? There is one listing on eBay right now. Actually, two. There's two on eBay right now. Yeah, I say you're becoming uncommon. Yeah, probably. But also, <laughs> I but also the EAR10 is becoming uncommon. Oh, maybe even becoming worse since there's no longer. And the, this features a time mode where you can set your time with which is very cool yep. All right. oh yeah so I also had to get a replacement 120 here let's see if this will I had to get a replacement 120 because my other one I totally screwed up while trying to put super glue on the faceplate while trying to get it back on, and uh, it just turned out to be a whole bunch of useless things. Of crap. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is this is Gary Davis here. So anyway, we got the charging mode where you can charge your thing. I don't know what that really does. And finally, we got the uh, key tone, which is going to be really wild. I'll give it a quick test. What is how annoying is it, it this is? Let's hear it. That honestly kinda sounds like a version 15 HH 54 VP. Wait, what? That sounds like a 
Patriots 54, VP version 15. Which one, the uh, uncommon or the common? Uncommon. Really? Actually, technically, technically, both of them are actually common. Y yeah. I have never heard of that. I have never, um... I did, um, I did catch, uh, I did catch, uh, KXI-94 ones on my DR-300 on Channel 2. Oh, nice. Yeah, the other 300s are... Yeah, which the one YouTuber really told good. me that it was, uh, it was a, uh, um, what do you call it? Troll Pell is what I was looking for. Ah. What's the closest one you have ever gotten? What? What's the closest station that you ever gotten from far away? Oh, the coolest station. Oof. Like, like the KDL 94 or something like that? Oh, uh, well, I actually didn't get KDL 94. Er. Yeah, oh, you actually did because you went to some Dusty with, um, um, did you win with, uh, RCT3 to 165 before? Yeah. In fact, I went this, in fact, I went, uh, this year at Zero Point Home. That day was not good, let me just say that. Oh, yeah? Wh why is that? Because you, you went there because you, you shoved the butt powder with, with, uh, with RCT3 to 165? I mean, what? <laughs> I had to, by the way. <laughs> it, was mainly be, it was mainly because most of the rides actually closed down. Wait, did I? Yep. Wow. Wait, when was that? Uh, I think it was the week before I started school. Interesting. Well, that is basically yeah. it with the uh, radio review. Field of my Cobra, and once again I'm joined by. And once again I'm joined by. You know who I, you know who I am. No, we don't. Anyways. Oh no! Not the night guy. Here he, here he comes again. This makes me want. <laughs> what? This makes me want to do something. No, no. <laughs> okay, so Antonio, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Oh no! <laughs> what are you going? To do? What? My name is Pitbuck EAS. Oh god! <laughs> oh my god! I put black and silver and version four. Okay, I'm gonna be a good film. <laughs> Savage, you, uh, hey, Savage, uh, you, my brother actually heard you said that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, my brother did. Anyway, you're Savage Gamer 2413. Yep. And do you have anything to say before you want to sign off? Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, yes, you do, because you, you went to the, you went to a store to buy, buy butt powder for your weather radio. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you next time. Peace out.